Hi. In this video, I will guide you through the steps for enabling auditing in Domain Controller Security Policy. To start with, you have to log on to a domain as a member of the Local Administrators Group. Now, navigate to the Group Policy Management in Administrative Tools. In the console tree, double-click on the Forest Domain. Then click on Domains. And then a particular domain for which you want to enforce the Global Object Access Auditing Policy. What we have to do now is to right-click on the default domain policy and then click on Edit. Click on Computer Configuration, Policies, Windows Settings. Now, double-click on Security Settings. Advanced Audit Policy Configuration System Audit Policies. Next, we're going to configure the File System Audit Policy. For this, click on Object Access. Double-click on the Audit File System. You will now have its Properties dialog box. You have to now select Configure the following events checkbox, and then select either Success or Failure checkboxes. You can also select both the checkboxes. Click on OK. We have now configured the file system audit policy that is used to monitor objects for which auditing Security Access Control List, SACL, have been configured. If you want to configure the audit policy for a particular file or folder, then the procedure is the same as that of Windows 7, except that here you have to log in as member of Local Administrator Group to the domain server. To have this user access auditing, enable the Handle Manipulation Audit Policy so that allowed or denied access attempts are recorded as success or failure events respectively. Now, to enable the Handle Manipulation, click on the Audit Handle Manipulation. Select the Configure Events checkbox. Enable Success and Failure option. You can also enable either Success or Failure option as per your requirement. Let us now configure the Domain Global Object Access Audit Policy. To do this, Let's click on Registry under Object Access in Group Policy Management Editor window. Now select the Configure Events checkbox. Enable the Success and Failure options and click on OK. Now double click on Global Object Access Policies, Registry. Here select the Define This Policy Setting checkbox and click on Configure. In the Advanced Security Settings for Registry SACL window, click Add. Type a username or a computer name in this format, then click on OK. In the Auditing Entry for Global Registry SACL window, select the Successful or Failed Activities for which you want to log audit entries. In this video, I choose the options Create, Delete, and Read. Click on OK. We have now configured the Advanced Audit Policy Settings. Next, let us confirm that these Advanced Audit Policy Settings cannot be overwritten. To ensure that, we need to do the following procedure. Navigate to the Administrative Tools in the Control Panel and click on Group Policy Management. In the Console tree, double-click on the Forest Domain. Then click on the Domains. Right-click on the default domain policy and then click Edit. Go to Computer Configuration, Policies, Windows Settings. Click on Security Settings, Local Policies, Security Options. Double-click on Audit. Force Audit Policy Subcategory Settings to override Audit Policy Category Settings. Now click Enable and then OK.
we will now update the group policy. Log on to the domain client as administrator. Run the command prompt as administrator. If the user account control dialog box appears, confirm that the action it displays is what you want and then proceed by clicking yes. Use the command GP update to update the group computer policy settings. Now we have enforced the advanced global object access audit policies. Ensure the audit policy configuration settings are not overwritten and updated the audit policy. We will now verify whether the policy has been applied successfully. Open Registry Editor and create, modify one or more registry settings. Now open the Event Viewer to check whether these activities have been recorded as audit events. We have not set any explicit auditing SACLs on the registry settings. However, the applied global object access policy has resulted in this security auditing. Now you can be insured of your business security with these advanced security audit policies enforced in your domain controller. Now that we have configured the Auditing for Object Access in Windows 2008 R2 Server, Event Log Analyzer will automatically collect all these auditing logs. Manage Engine's Event Log Analyzer provides you with an option to generate reports and trigger alerts for these audit logs. For further questions and clarifications, don't hesitate to contact our support team. For more how-to videos, visit our website. Thanks for watching.